Are you absolutely terrified of taking the GED and completely flunking? Maybe right now you feel like you don't even have the guts to go take the GED because you're too scared of potentially failing. Did you know that fear of failure and test taking anxiety can stop you from even putting any real effort into your GED studying? In this video, you'll learn strategies to help you overcome fear of failure and test taking anxiety to raise your GED score so that you can pass faster and get the test behind you and finally move on to bigger and better things in life. Also, I'll be heading to the home of Bigfoot, Raymer, Minnesota, to do some Bigfoot hunting here in this video, so I'll be confronting fear head on. Okay, so I gotta get this on the camera. Look at this. Looks like something big and strong might have climbed up that tree. Your first tip for overcoming fear and test taking anxiety is to take deep breaths. Sometimes it's helpful to imagine your belly as a balloon with air being pumped in as you inhale. Then as you exhale, picture the air slowly leaving the balloon through a single tiny hole made by a pinprick. Don't be afraid to let your gut hang out. This is going to feel unnatural at first if you're not used to letting your gut hang loose as you breathe, but you'll be surprised by how much better you feel when you stop and you take nice slow deep breaths for a change. So there's this park for the water tower called Witch's Hat Water Tower. And there's this high spot there that looks like it has an amazing view of Minneapolis. But every time I go there, there's always a group blocking the spot, so I've never gotten to see it. The park's right near our grocery store, so my wife wanted to meet up after work. So when I first heard about this place and how awesome the view was, I wanted to take my wife up here and I kept telling her how nice the view was going to be until we got up there and there were people at the lookout point. We came back more people. So since day one, I've had a grudge with this place. How many people do you think fail the GED test each year? Well, the most recent data I found was from 2017, when almost 150,000 people failed. So know that it's not too uncommon to fail a GED test section. So if it's happened to you or if you're worried about failing, know that many other people have felt this way before too. Research released from the GED testing service about a decade ago showed that only about half of those who failed on their first try ever tried again. This means that half of GED test takers gave up after only one try. So know that you can't pass if you give up. I don't care if it takes you one try or two tries or ten tries. If you stop trying, you're never going to pass. I sat and waited at the picnic table and that's when I realized that the person who was at the bench was my wife. She had been saving the spot for me. Another tip is to ground yourself in the present moment and try to release tension. When you're feeling overwhelmed and your mind starts racing with doubts and fears and anxiety, sit up, take deep breaths, and feel your feet against the floor. Feel your arms against your desk and feel your weight against the seat. By doing this, you're going to ground yourself back into the present moment. And at the same time, try to feel any places in your body where you have tension and try to release that tension. Right now while you're struggling, the GED may seem like the hardest thing in the world. But in reality, this is only a small part of your life. And someday once you finally passed, when you're in college or when you're in your dream job, you'll see that even though you're happier, it's not gonna get any easier. And that's just life. You know that as well as I do. But when you hit rough patches in the future after you pass the GED, You'll be able to look back at any failure you had to overcome for strength. So tomorrow is the day. We're heading out to Reamer, home of Bigfoot. I don't exactly know what's going to happen. It should probably be okay, but you never know. We might not make it back alive. You'll have to watch and find out. This is a direct message to any member of my family who happens to find my phone. If something happens tomorrow and I don't make it back but my phone's recovered, I want you to make sure that this video gets out there. Take this video, get it out there for the people who need this information to pass the GED. We're all hard on ourselves sometimes, but the more you cheer yourself on in your head, instead of beating yourself up and self-defeating yourself, the better you'll feel about yourself and the better you're going to do with your GED studying. So tell yourself statements like, I can do this, or I'm doing great, or I can take this, or make up your own. But pick one of these statements and commit that next time you're feeling test-taking anxiety, Maybe even when you go into your test, take a deep breath and tell yourself one of these statements at least 10 times. Just keep repeating it and you'll start to feel better. As we got closer to Reamer, my first thought was that if Bigfoot's real, the endless miles of remote woods around here seem like the perfect place to find it. Bigfoot sightings in Reamer surfaced back in the late 1800s. Reamer made national news in 2009 after a trail camera captured a picture of what some believe is Bigfoot. Me? 
I'm on the fence about whether or not Bigfoot's real. I'd like to see some actual scientific evidence before I believe, but at the same time, with all the encounters people say they have, you never know. So I'm going into this with an open mind. See, the way I look at it, there's two types of fear. There's fear of things that can cause real danger, like a Bigfoot. And there's a second type of fear that comes from change. And fear of change often comes from getting outside of your comfort zone. And when you do something new like taking the GED test, you are getting out of your comfort zone. Although it's not life-threatening, you still feel the fear. But you can't give in to the fear. And sometimes the best way to overcome fear is to face it head on. So now we're heading out to the lake into the woods where there have been plenty of Bigfoot sightings. So if we're going to see one, that's probably where it's going to be. So my wife and I were going to go for a nature walk anyway. So my initial plan for this scene was just to take the cameras along and go out in the woods and just film kind of a funny, lighthearted, entertaining scene. Just kind of make it a little bit of a spoof off of the show Finding Bigfoot, you know, just for fun. I never expected that I was actually going to see much of anything at all. And what I found, though, is actually really interesting. What I'm going to show you, this is 100% real footage. And I swear I didn't make any of this up for the camera. We see all that bark torn off right there. Looks like something big and strong might have climbed up that tree. Okay, so look at this tree right here. You see that? So this looks like this was the base of that tree. And somehow that tree, look. Look how it got here. I saw the pros doing this last night on Animal Planet to try to call the Bigfoot out. Okay, so I got to get this on the camera. Look at this. Tree knocked down there. Tree knocked down here. Look right here. Tree there down right here in this corner tree down there uh, and then look at this right here but what i want to talk about now is fear of the ged and what do you really lose if you try to take the ged and you fail so i think we can all agree that you're going to lose time and you're going to lose money so even though it is really frustrating the fact that we can live with losing some money and live with losing some time that tells me that there's something deeper going on here. There's something deeper that people fear. Most people are afraid of failure because they don't want to end up feeling like a failure. Failing the GED just means that you weren't ready to pass yet. It doesn't make you a failure. The GED may be tough, but I guarantee if you really search your experience, you'll come to realize that you've gone through a lot tougher things in your life so far. If you learn to apply the inner strength you've already got to the GED, and if you realize that if you persevere, and if you keep going, and if you face your fears and confront them head on, eventually you're going to succeed. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but if you keep at it, it won't be long. So next you're going to want to watch my other video about ending GED math, fear, and hopelessness. The video is very short, but it's very effective, so go watch that right now. It's only about a three minute video, and afterwards I think you're going to feel even better. Good luck with your test prep. Thanks for watching. Please click like down below if this was helpful.